Good morning, everybody, or I should say good good evening. It is now, oh my goodness, almost six o'clock here in Ottawa. Um, it is, what day are we? Wednesday? Yes, I think we're Wednesday. Oh my goodness, it's so crazy. Uh, the week is going by very fast. I did not post the video yesterday. I didn't get a chance to film it. Um, with work and everything, I just kind of got a little bit busy, um, but decided to hop on today and open up my advents for day five and day six. So I have four to open. All right. So um, for those of you who are joining me new as of today, my name is Denise. I live in Ottawa, Ontario in Canada. Um, I uh, am opening up, um, I bought a Leo and Roxy advent. So every day I'm opening that up. And I also did an advent exchange with somebody. So I'm also showing you those ones as well. Um, so I'll start with the exchange. So day five. Um, so I know in the past she had a couple that she had provided me from the Harry Potter. Um, I think it was a mini set. I think I said in the past it was an advent, but I think it was an actual mini set. Um, so I'm not sure if this, oh, this is not part of the advent or for that mini set. So this is, um, cat yarn, lazy cat yarns. Oh, how cool. I'm going to have to look this up. It's a beautiful pink. I quite like this. And again, very sparkly too. I'm really liking all the sparkles. Um, so this is perfect. And there's a little bit, every once in a while, there's a little tinge of like a darker, darker pink kind of hard to tell but there's just a few spots here and there uh, I'm gonna have to look them up I don't know them at all so they're called lazy cat yarn so it's kind of neat I'll be able to um, do a bit of research and see what they what other um what other dyeing that they do and a little bit about their company so it's really great it's a good way of getting to know some other uh, vendors out there um day six is Oh, this one's pretty too. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so this one's not tagged, so it must be part of that Harry Potter mini set or one of the mini sets. Um, Again, it's like, you know, really nice greens and pinks. This is really lovely and they all kind of go together really nicely. I don't have the others in front of me right now, but they do kind of all flow together really nicely. I might end up putting them all into one uh, project maybe um, something to do maybe I'll do a cozy memories blanket or um, it could be nice to do some form of a shawl um, or like a cowl or something with these so I'm gonna look at that so these are these two I quite like them very happy with that and for Leo and Roxy every day seems to be themed on something 80s related so day number five Oh, nice. Oh, it's just nice. It's like kind of a grayish, um, kind of a grayish beige sort of color. Very lovely. Oh, and this is a nice color. Oh my goodness. Um, it's a nice neutral. I quite like it. Um, and <laughs> Madonna. So, uh, it is called Touch for the Very First Time. So like a virgin. So very cool, quite like that. All right, the next one is day six. And for this one. Oh, very cool. So again, kind of a little similar, a little bit lighter in shade, I would say. Um, but kind of similar in that like light gray. There's a bit of a taupey color in there and some greens. And this one is, if you can knit it, <laughs> I like it. Um, so definitely um, this makes me think of Field of Dreams. If you build it, they will come. If you knit it, they will wear it, maybe. Or I will wear it. <laughs> Don't know. Interesting. I like it. So that's the next one. So great colors all in all. This has been really fun. Um, I did also wanted to share with you, so I am gonna post a short video after this one. Um, it'll be linked together into one video, but I'll add a little video that I made just kind of showing my Halloween advent because I've decided to start knitting a project with them. 
Um, so again, that one was with Leo and Roxy, um, and, um, Bad Girl Yarns, I believe is what they're called. Um, it's, uh, from the Rosehaven Yarn Store. I think it's, uh, the lady who works there or who owns it. She also has a dye uh, company, which is amazing. Um, so they partnered together and they came up with, um, a, an, a Halloween advent. It was a 13 day advent. It had 12 mini skeins and the 13 day was some uh, stitch markers and it was all based on the Rocky Horror Picture Show movie. Um, so I have a little video showing like all the different colors and all of that. Um, but I'm going to show you right now sort of what I've started. Um, so I've started knitting my very first Muscle Burrow hat. Um, so this is just sort of the tip of it. Um, so I, it, the first color that I used or the first game that I used was black and it had a bit of greens, um, some oranges, some reds sort of in. Uh, the next one is mostly greens and blues. Um, and I'll show you my next colors as I kind of continue knitting on it. Um, but those who don't know the Muscle Burrow hat, the way it's worked is that you start it from the crown. Um, you do all your increases, which I've completed my increases. Now I just knit basically a long tube. I get to the other end, I do decreases and I finish a second crown. And what happens is that both crowns kind of fold into each other and it becomes a double layered hat. Um, but what's really neat with it, with the way that it's knit is that um, you can reverse it. So I can always change it out depending on how I'm doing uh, or how I wanna wear it. And um, what ends up happening as well is because I'm gonna be using my 12, um, my 12 day advent, I'm striping them out with all 12, all 12 colors. And I think I've kind of, uh, if my math serves me right, I believe I do about an inch and a half and then I'm switching to the next color. Um, so the great thing about being able to flip the hat inside out and kind of use either end is that they will look like very different colors. Um, I think one of the uh, videos that I have that I'll probably share with you, it'll show you sort of the order of what the colors are and what I'm going to go with so far that I've decided. Um, so I started this one. It's been lots of fun. I only started it, uh, Monday. Um, so this is just two days of knitting and really it's only been about maybe an hour to a day of, on it. It's really not that long. Um, now I just have to keep knitting in the round. Um, I've been doing um, Magic Loop, but I think now it's big enough that I can just go ahead with a small circular needle instead of fiddling with the Magic Loop all the time. Um, so I'm going to, um, I don't know how to link yet to my YouTube videos, but I'm going to add the name of the pattern um, that I'm working on as well as the cast on method that I used um, because it includes a crochet hook. Um, and you kind of do a little bit of a crochet thing at the beginning and then you pick up and knit. Um, it was a video, I think there's a couple of videos out there on it, but I followed one that Nitty Natty did. Um, and it was relatively very easy. I didn't have to rip it out. It actually worked on the very first try. So I do recommend that. And it's kind of neat because you can close up the circle um, just kind of by pulling on the thread. And I've already weaved it in a little bit on the back side. So that's that. Uh, the stitch markers as part of my advent from Halloween, I can share with you. Um, there's a there's a lot here, but I'm going to show a couple of them. So this one is just um, a high heel, sparkly high heels. Um, there's one where it's a motorcycle, which is so cool. Um, and there's an old movie camera. And... This one is my, alt. actually I'll leave that my favorite one for last. Um, and then there's a couple from the characters in the movie, which that one, and this guy as well. And it says, you're wet. And, and then this lovely lady. Um, my favorite one though has to be the lips. That's just awesome. Uh, so these are really, really great. They're stitch markers. I think I'm actually going to, um, go and buy some clasps so that I can, um, remove them and add them to my projects, kind of like, uh, progress makers. 
um, or I might see about adding them to, you know, maybe a keychain or adding them to some of my project bags as well. Um, cause some of them are quite big to have, you know, dangling on a project. If it's a blanket, it's not so bad. Um, but for a little hat, it's a little bit big, I find. So, um, yeah, so that's that on my projects and my advents for today. Uh, that's about it. So I'm going to be, uh, wrapping this up right now because it's already been 10 minutes of me yammering. I wish you guys all a very great rest of the day. Happy knitting. If you're knitting on projects, if you're knitting on advents, uh, feel free to share in the comments below on what you're working on or what advents you're working on. If you're doing some advent knitting, um, I'd be happy to kind of see what you're, what you've been working on. It's good because it gives a lot of ideas to others and it gives me some ideas as well and uh, that's it so i will leave you with that have a great great night everybody and we will talk later thanks bye